Just let me hear some of that rock and roll music Any old way you choose it Hello, this is Katie with Vintage and Vinyl and I'll be spinning some rock and 50s records every week here on my channel as well as sharing some cool Coca-Cola collectibles and other neat vintage finds. Stay tuned! Hi guys, this is Katie with Vintage and Vinyl back with another great video for you today. And in this video, we are talking swatch watches. I can't wait to share my collection with you. They are very fun. I mean, swatch has it all. Their price point is great. Their designs are fantastic. And of course, they have the Swiss made stamp on them and they have the awesome Swiss made parts inside. Uh, to me, Swiss watches are just some of the best out there. You cannot go wrong. So Swatch has a very interesting history. They literally saved the watchmaking industry when they started in 1983. And Nicholas Hayek was the guy that kind of put all of his money into it and helped get that Swatch group off the ground. But Swatch really was a big player in the 80s because the Swiss watchmaking industry was going through what they called a quartz crisis. Now I'm not talking about the stone quartz, I'm talking about a quartz movement in a watch. Up until then a lot of watches were manually wound, they were automatic. And the Japanese were creating this awesome lightweight watch that was super thin, almost as thin as a matchstick, and they were great because they were cheap, they had a quartz movement, so accessible to everybody, and they had a lot of cool features like Texas Instrument working with them to create the calculator watch, which we all know and love. And Swatch really came in and helped the Swiss watchmaking industry rise from their number three position to number one again because they decided that they would create a watch very similar to what Japan was making. They would make it thin, they would make it light, they'd make the design very fashion forward, and most of all, they'd make it affordable. So they came out with a watch in 1983 and it just took off. Everybody loved Swatch. They advertised like crazy and people would even wear multiples up their arm in the 80s. If you ever see old videos from that time, you'll see kids have three or four of them. And they were pretty reasonable at only 20 to $40 a piece. So back then that was money, but it wasn't, you know, thousands of dollars worth of money and people could accessorize. They even made swatch guards to protect the watch faces and you could change out the bands and do all kinds of crazy things. I mean, some of the watches from that time even have fur, you know, on them. They're just very fun. And this is a great book. If you're wanting to start collecting, uh, this showcases a lot of the watches from the 80s time period and they're just fantastic. Uh, really great graphics and good if you're wanting to get into collecting. It's a great book. You can pick it up for a couple of bucks online. I'm not sponsored by Frank Edwards, but I happen to really like his book. So, I mean, look at the graphics. Some of these are so much fun. So Swatch is a great, great company. Yay for them helping the Swatch. Swatch. Yay for them helping the Swiss watchmaking industry become number one again. They kind of beat out the Japanese there. So the first watch I'm going to share with you is none other than the Lady Jellyfish. It came out in 1983 and this is just such an iconic Swatch watch. I love the design. You can see right through it like a jellyfish. That was sort of the intent. You can see all the inner workings. And I bought this from a lady for five bucks and it is not worth that. It's worth hundreds of dollars now online. So this is a very good steal. And it came in the original box, which if you are a collector, you know that the boxes definitely add value. And if you can get the original boxes with the swatches, that's very good because they definitely are a great way to store your watches as well as help with the value. I also have a watch here that's sort of the holy grail for me in uh, swatch collecting because it's an automatic watch and yes, swatch did make automatic watches uh, which is great because automatic watches are very expensive but for a company to come out and make one that's less expensive 
with the same great movements in it is just phenomenal. So this is a vintage automatic swatch. I'm going to take it out of the box here. This is St. Peter's Gates. It came out in 1993. Ooh, that was loud. And you can see it has this beautiful key design here. Key and uh, pocket watch design there. And it's gold with that blue. It's so, so beautiful. Now you're probably asking, what is the difference between an automatic and a quartz watch? Well, let me show you. The back here has a rotor. I believe that's the correct term. But it spins back and forth. And what that does is it's weighted and it winds a spring inside. And let me see if I can show you this spring here. Right up there, there's the spring, and this is called the main spring, and it stores all the power in the watch. So as this rotor moves back and forth, it is weighted and it winds that main spring, and that main spring releases the energy. So let me wind this up for you, and you can see the main spring start to go to life there. Can you see it ticking back and forth? And now the watch is working. You can see that nice sweeping hand that the automatic watches have versus the quartz watches which take a battery and that is how they're powered. So I think that this watch is very cool. I love St. Peter's Gates. I also love Swatch's calendar watches. Now they came out with a series of these for various years. It has the whole calendar on it. And this one is amazing because it's 1998. Now, I was born in 94, so kind of close. But what I love about it is that it has this fantastic design on the inside. So it's not just your basic calendar where the numbers usually are on the watch. It has the months of the year. So November, December, etc., etc. And it's a day-date watch, which is cool. So it has the date and the day which is just awesome with this pearlescent band it's a very very cool swatch from 1998. now swatch also made a millennium calendar watch celebrating the year 2000 and i remember going to disney as a kid and when 2000 came around they had the big 2000 sparkly sign over the Epcot ball and I just remember being so enamored with that as a little girl. So this watch here is for the Millennium 2000 and it has the calendar. It's black and silver and it has the day date. It's just a very cool watch I think. I think the colors are great. Everything just about it is fantastic. Now, my other favorite swatches include not just the ones where you can see the clear uh, movement inside, but also designs. And this one is a watch. It is the Cappuccino watch. I believe it came out in 1993. And it has that iconic looking coffee cup. Kind of reminds me of the Friends artwork in the show Friends. If you ever watch closely, the coffee house artwork always changes and they have a piece of artwork that kind of looks like that cup. So it's very cool. It has some uh, wording, sort of like a book, pages from a book. It's just a super cool watch. Love the colors, love everything about it. I also got another vintage swatch, automatic watch. It's from 1995, and it is the PD watch, and it is very, very cool. So it has this blue design with gold and white and this scroll work and it's an automatic watch and it's just spectacular. Really, really beautiful watch there. Swatch makes the best stuff. Their designs are very clever. The watches are very well made and it's very cool. Now this next watch I'm going to share with you is called the Moonquake and this is a very collectible watch. It's one of the only swatches that shows the clear uh, date movement working. So I'll show you that. This is an awesome watch. It came out in 1989 and it has this copper and silver design and then you can see the inner workings there and you can see the day, the date movement. It doesn't have the day but um, it has that great movement there. So very, very cool watch. Very iconic. 
very awesome for a swatch. So I have a lot of modern swatch watches as well. And at the beginning of the year, I had the wonderful opportunity to go to New York before all the COVID stuff. And I got two swatch watches at the swatch store in Times Square. <laughs> Can I be any more excited? I was thrilled. This is like my holy grail trip. It, you know, I love New York. I've always been a big fan and of course, I have stared at the TV screen every Christmas viewing that swatch store behind the NBC uh, people in the Times Square area reporting from there and I just always wanted to go. So I picked up two limited edition, not limited edition, I should say that there are two special watches you can only get at the Times Square store in New York. So this is greetings from New York. It is a New York watch with a map of New York, which is very, very cool. And Swatch is not only known for their awesome watches, they also have cool graphics on their box. So this is one of the special boxes with the New York stamp. This is a collector's series of watches for different uh, areas around the U.S. And I don't know what all states have this. I know New York does and I'll show you one in a minute from Miami but I don't know if there are other states that do this but it's very cool. And this next watch is the original New York watch that Swatch came up with and I wanted to have this one as well. It has the New York City skyline. You can see the Chrysler building there. It's just very very iconic and cool looking and it has the most fantastic box it has the whole city there, and you can see the Brooklyn Bridge. It's just an awesome, awesome designed box. So I love that, love, love, love that. Now I did get a couple of watches from the Swat store in the Atlanta airport. It is part of a duty-free store, and a lot of times they have super sales around Christmas time, because I think things sit for a while and they don't sell. So I got these watches for $20 each, they were originally like 85, but this is one of my favorites because it's coffee themed. Again, I love coffee. And this is the cappuccino or coffee watch in the blue with the hunter green. It's really cool. I love, love, love the coffee beans and that clever pause play button, sort of like if I don't have my coffee, I can't get going. So I think Swatch's designs are awesome. Now I also picked up a Louie watch. Now I say Louie because it reminds me of my dog. Swatch came out this year or last, it was not this year, but last year with a series of dog and cat watches. And this one features a pug, so I call it my Louie watch. It has a pug with the wonderful little dog tag there, uh, dog collar, and it's just awesome. <laughs> very whimsical, very fun. I also picked up a Louvre watch. Now they did a whole series of watches for the Louvre in France and this has the Mona Lisa on it. And what I think is very, very clever is if you notice the watch strap, uh, the little uh, watch strap, the band holder, I'm not sure what these are called, but the Mona Lisa has the eyes are cut out. So the strap is over her eyes and they're cut out like she's wearing glasses. It's really fun. And then it says Louvre U in the middle and Louvre up at the top. So I think this is a fun watch. I love art. I love the Louvre. I want some place that I could spend days in if I had the time. So I think that's a great watch. I also love plaid watches and I love Swatch when they do the clear uh, front so you can see the inside. So this is one of their um, plaid watches. Of course, some of y'all might say that this is pretty tacky because none of the colors really go together, but that's the fun of plaid. And I think that this is a very well-designed Swatch. So Swatch not only makes these plastic watches, but they've started making a lot of really nice leather watches that are only about $100. So I have a few and they're on my uh, watch winder pads because they're automatic and I keep them on the watch winder so they always stay wound and ready to wear. But this is a really cool swatch with that inside. You can see all the inner workings and the Roman numerals 
there are fantastic and I love this like black leather. It's just really a cool watch. They also made a silver metal band with the automatic and you can see the insides as well. You can see that uh, balance wheel up at the top and this is just a cool watch. The hands do glow. They're luminescent which is awesome. And then they also came out with a series of watches that are very cool. They're automatic, but you can't see the insides, but they do have a date function, which is neat. And this is kind of designed like a galaxy, and they're very, very fun. This is the System 51 watch here, and I just think these are awesome. I'm going to say that 500 times, and you guys are going to get really sick of me saying that. I need a better word, but I just, I'm in love. You can tell that probably. So I'm going to hold up my watch case here because this is most of my collection in a case. Now I like to store these in a case, especially the ones I'm going to wear. And this is a little bit heavy, but these are all my swatches. And that's how I store them. I keep the cases in a plastic container. And then the vintage ones I don't wear every day because I don't want to mess them up. So they stay um, in their boxes so I can see them. But I do lay them out so I can enjoy. But I have a couple of cool watches in here. This is a Swatch Thin. I believe this one came out in the 90s. And it is a thin watch. I mean, look, it's almost the size of that paper there. I love this watch because it, it just, it's so thin, very seamless, very nice. And uh, it's a beautiful little watch. And I love how thin it is, you know, it's just great. And that was another watch, again, that was kind of revolutionary and matching up with the Japanese and their thin watches. And that's Lily. She's going crazy because there are fireworks outside and she does not like it. I also have a couple of these really cool um, watches that are in colors and you can see the inside. So I have a white one, pink one, yellow one. The yellow is one of my favorites. Ooh, and I just dropped it there. Way to go, Katie. <laughs> but um, I'm just leaving them on these little pillows. But there you go. You can see that there. That yellow one's awesome. And then, of course, I have a red one, a blue one. I mean, they came in all different colors. That's kind of the beauty of Swatch is all the different colors and designs. You know, there's really something for everybody. This watch is super cool. This is the Flag Time watch. I, they came out with it a few years ago, and it has all the flags on it. Not all, but a lot of the flags from various countries. You can see the United States there and Canada. It's just a fun, whimsical watch. So I was really excited to pick this up. Now Swatch will do limited edition watches where they drop it and then within seconds it sells out. This year they came out with James Bond, a whole series of James Bond watches. And boy did I want that Moonraker watch, but I could not get it. I called every Swatch store that I knew to call. I, I tried but it sold out within minutes online. Same as the Mickey Mouse watch when it came out two years ago and everybody wanted that. So now if you go on eBay, people are jacking the prices up to a couple hundred bucks. So I will not be getting that anytime soon unless I get lucky. But uh, that is something to look out for those limited edition drops because if you can pick them up at a good price and then if you're a reseller, you know, and you want to resell, you can do that because people will be pretty hot for those uh, watches that they couldn't get. Now this one is a boarding pass watch. It is very travel themed. I love the airplane design. And the watch uh, face has some numbers, but then it says on time, departing, boarding. It's just a really great watch. I love to travel. So this watch was a must have when it came out. And it comes with this really cool sleeve. It says remove before flight. So some of the sleeves are decorated and you still have your basic plastic insert where the watch is stored. But this is a very cool thing. I love when they, they take extra time to decorate the sleeve. This was another special watch that came out 
for the Swatch Club. Now, Swatch Club is something anyone can join, but if you're part of a Swatch Club uh, collector thing online, you just sign up, you get kind of special uh, deals and different things. And every year they come out with a Swatch Club watch that's the official watch of Swatch for the year for the club. And this is one of them they did. You can see the clear insert. It has that Swiss, uh, I don't know what you call that, but it's on their flag. It's very cool. I love the red. I think the inner workings are awesome. I mean, I love looking at how those those little movements inside work. And this is the case it came in. So it had that really special uh, Swiss theme design there, which was awesome. I also got a limited edition uh, watch. Let's see. It's this one here. And it has the silver and gold, and then it has the year in which, the years in which Swatch has been around. Now this came out, I want to say, five years ago or more. It's just a very, very cool watch with the clear band. And some of my bands have seen better days because I actually do wear these. So you can get replacement bands from Swatch. I don't know if there's uh, bands like this where they're colored, if you can get replacements, but definitely the clear uh, watches or ones with solid colors are easy to get replacements for. You can just order them through Swatch.com. And that watch came in this very cool Celebrate. It was for their anniversary and it's an awesome box. I love these. They're really cool to stack up in a display. I also love the color watches they did for the color palette series, I think is what it was called. And it was basically celebrating art is the best way I can say it. And this one has all different colors on the inside with that kind of green translucent um, watch face there. And then it's got the blue and the orange and the pink. And then there's a fellow mate to that one, which has different colors, and it is blue and red. So that's just very, very cool. I love those. I, I have a bunch of them where you can see the insides. I don't know why I'm fascinated by that, but I just am, and they are fantastic. I also wanted to show you this watch is very cool. It is a color wheel watch. It has the the different colors. Let me see if this will show up. But it has the day date and then it's also got the capability to do the stopwatch. So it's it's a great, great watch. And Swatch makes a variety of designs, colors, and patterns and styles. So like I said, if you don't want the plastic ones, you can invest for like a hundred bucks and get one of these really nice leather automatic ones. I mean, these will last you a lifetime if you take good care of them. And if you want something more sparkly and fun and simple, I mean, the face is very simple, but the outside is very sparkly. <laughs> you can get this watch here that has got the gold on the inside with the day date, and then it has the sparkly design on the band. So, I mean, and you can mix and match bands if you want. As far as collecting, I mean, obviously, if you change the band uh, with not, I mean, if you replace it with an original band, that's fine, but if you switch it with a band that wasn't supposed to be on there, probably not as good for collecting, but I mean, really, just enjoy the watches, and if you want to change the bands, go for it. Go crazy. Be fun. That's what Swatch really is all about, and they, they named it Swatch because it's second watch. It means that it's another watch that you can have. So you can have many of them, or if one breaks, you can get another one. So they're really cool. And I love all the designs. I could sit here all day and show you many more because I just am in love and have so many. But I will be doing another video showcasing a few more of my collection. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. But whether you're a longtime collector like me or you're just getting started into swatch, you can see how many different watches there are and how many fun patterns and designs you can collect. Swatch really is all about what you like. There's all different kinds, all different types, and you can really delve into one specific 
type of swatch if you like and that's the beauty of it it's all about you and what your style is and you can be creative and fun and that's what i love 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 about swatch so if you are a reseller and you're looking at this video know that if you find swatch in the wild it might be worth picking up because some swatch watches go for quite a bit of money i know the original jellyfish can get up to a thousand bucks on ebay and people will pay it even if it's not in the original box because this watch is becoming harder and harder to find because a lot of times people would just throw them away or they'd be done wearing them and their parents would clear out their room and get rid of it so the more that we can kind of find some of these older watches it's really cool and they can command a high price so don't be afraid to pick up swatch not every pattern is super collectible but a lot of people are always looking for swatch they're always looking for replacement bands so if you're looking to resell it's definitely worth picking up a couple of swatches if you see them and they're a good price and if you're starting out collecting hey it's great to go on ebay and see which ones you like and what deals you can get because some people don't know what they have like this lady that sold me this working jellyfish in the case for five bucks it was a steal i couldn't believe it <laughs> so you never know and it's a great area to get started in i recommend this book again not sponsored by frank edwards but it is a really really helpful book with the history of swatch and all different areas of swatch watches through the years so i think that this is great and it's a cool coffee table book because it really gets the conversation started for people that are coming into your house and going oh yeah i remember that or they don't know what it is and they're curious so it's great either way and of course if you're in different cities look out for those city themed swatch watches next time you're in new york and i don't know when that will be because of all this mess going on right now but you can dream about it and look forward to it maybe when you're in new york you can get a new york city swatch watch or down in miami this miami watch really really reminds me of the golden girls i think that scene where they're trying to come up with a song for the contest um, and they're singing miami is nice so i'll say it twice that's what this watch reminds me of it's it's really fun but i hope you all enjoyed this video i hope you learned a little something and enjoyed some pretty watches along the way and i hope you all will stay in stay safe binge youtube and have a happy fourth that's why i go for that rock and roll music any old